Yeah, that's the uh, first time we've been able to run the ball in a few weeks. Um, they're just physical. We, we, they're like we said in the beginning of the week. We know what defense that is. They they're strong up front. Um, they're physical. They two gap. They I mean they have vision back inside. They react to the ball extremely quickly. Um, yeah, they, they did a good job of uh, shutting down the run game. Baker, the defense gave you several opportunities today. Just reflect back on each and every one of those situations where you guys came up short. I'm not going to reflect on each and every single one of them, but um, we turned the ball over uh, on our own territory, and defense was playing great up until then. That's a very good offense that they have, um, and that set them up for the first touchdown. And so that's that falls back on us. We. One, we didn't make enough plays, but then two in that second half, we just obviously have to protect the ball a little bit. But it comes down to making plays. I mean, that's that's the type of team they are. They're physical. They're going to leave some guys in one-on-one -on -one situations to uh, to test you. They're going to bring pressure, like we said. It, it's um, yeah, we we just have to make more plays. Baker, what was the conversation like, or at least the communication with the refs like during like in the fallout of the shy fumble? Um, thought the play was blown dead. Um, to be honest with you. So they said otherwise. Um, I'd have to honestly go back and watch the TV copy to see. Um, yeah, there was there was a few things there that were a little bit questionable. How would you assess your own play today? Uh, not good enough. We didn't win the game. Um, you know, just gotta you know, like I say, take care of the ball. But we have to make more plays. Um, you know, batted balls. You know, when they're when they're not getting the rush. Like, like I said, they're two gap rush team and on a. Uh, kind of a, a tempo drive when they know they're not going to get home. They just stop and put their hands up. So um, just one of those things that, you know, good pocket, clean pocket. Uh, they batted it down. And then the other one, um, Shai and I just have to be on the same page. You know, he, he's he's looking at uh, Marlon Humphrey out, out there in the flat, and I'm expecting him to, to go out to the flat. But that's, you know, he's, he's playing smart, and I'm expecting him to run his route. So that's just being on the same page. And uh, it's... It cost us. It cost us because that was in our, you know, unfortunate. What did you think of uh, the Jay Terrace then? Uh, thought he thought he played pretty well. Uh, I, I know he's um, going to want some of those back as well, though. Um, like I said, we didn't make enough plays all around uh, to, to win this ball game, and they did. You know, that's when you have a team like that that's you know hanging in the ball game, and we have that many penalties, um, they're going to capitalize. It's it, it doesn't help when you hurt yourself. How tough is it as an offensive leader when it seems like you know the defense is doing their job and limiting such a potent offense and the offense on the Panthers side it seems to be not able to keep things going? Yeah, um, like I said, it, it's tough when you can't get the run game going, um, and uh, we just we have to make more plays. It's just it's one of those days. It's a, it was a long day for us on offense and. Um, got to make the plays when they're there because when you play a team like that, there's not going to be many, but you have to capitalize. Was wind a factor at all? Um, I don't think so. Hey, you went to DJ Moore for the first play of the game. He only ended up getting three targets for the entirety of the game. I know you talked a lot about getting the ball in your playmaker's hands. What were some of the things that you felt when you did that today? Was it just the, the looks that the defense was giving you? Uh, yeah, some some looks they're doing, and obviously, uh, you know, when we get into certain tempo calls, he, he's, you know, receivers stay on the same side, so um, kind of takes him out of the, the first couple of reads through that. Um, there's definitely plays there that you know I'll have to go back and see. To, you know, we're we're not going to force feed anybody, but it's obviously pretty smart to get the ball in your best player's hands. And so um, we'll go back and look at it, but yeah, they they did a good job of limiting uh, big play factors today. It seemed like Ben uh, designed a little bit more rollouts. Uh, the offense, a little bit more quick shots. What did you think of the game plan just from your guys' point of view? I thought we had a great game plan going in. Um, now the execution part, that's that's a different story, but um, we were prepared today. I'll say that. We were prepared. We came out and we didn't play well. Uh, too many penalties, not enough plays made, like I said, and uh, you're not going to win against a team like that when you do, when you don't execute. So uh, game plan, I, I thought, was fine. You, uh, you went to What's the key to that process here as this team tries to get over the hump? Um, it's a, it's truly a mindset of you know when you try and get over the hump and, and turn things around. You can look at your record right now, and obviously our record is not great, but look at look at how we're losing. You know you have to fix those things. Um, 
is, you know, the, the cliche thing that Parcel said, you have to learn how to stop beating yourself before you can learn how to win. And right now, the, I think today was a pretty good example of that, uh, of the fact that we have to uh, fix a lot of our own mistakes before we can even be in position to win. And that, that was the case. So um, it's being extremely detail-oriented, um, holding everybody accountable, and not letting anything slide. Because when it comes down to it, um, when you're on the field, this is a franchise that has been winning for a long time. And they're going to capitalize uh, when you play like that. And so um, got to stop beating yourself before anything can happen in a positive direction. Was there anything they did that you guys didn't expect? I know you said you were prepared, but was there anything they changed up in coverage? Uh, no. I mean, they kind of do what they do, and they do it really well. That's, that's the story of, of who they've been for a while now. Um, but like I said, they, they do what they do, and they do it well. And today they executed, uh, and we didn't make enough plays. Um, it sucks to be honest with you. We prepared, um, felt like, like I said, game plan. Uh, felt like everything was ready in their force. We just we didn't execute, and um, it's tough. I'll be honest with you. I got, I put my heart and soul in this, and this, this sucks. Um, I just hope everybody else feels the same way. To be honest with you, that's that's how you get things turned around. So you have to care about it. You do. Yeah, I, here's the thing. I, I think everybody does care, but I, when it comes down to little details, that I think we'll go back and watch this tape and see uh, what really hurt us. And it's small things. It really is. And, and so it's playing smart, no penalties. Um, and, yeah, it, it hurts because when you let things slide, um, not, I'm not saying that we're doing that throughout the week, but uh, that when you don't harp on the details and you don't emphasize it enough, I, I think things like that today are going to happen. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.